I'm a cider drinker I drink it all of the day I am a cider drinker It soothes all me troubles away Oh, I roll Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And on today's episode I'm bringing to you another cider that is very, very cheap to get. Although slightly hard to come by as well. And that cider is Churchwood's Original. Now I've actually got mixed feelings about this one because it's brought to us by none other than the Aston Manor Brewery which if you remember bought us Kingston Press which was quite nice tasting and also bought us Crompton Oaks too so I really don't know what to expect with this one it could really swing either way but uh, I'm sure I'll find out sooner or later whether this is going to be a nice tasting cider. But before any of that, let me just give you some details on Churchwood's cider. Churchwood's original comes in 568ml bottles. I believe you can't get it in can form or on tap, so correct me if I'm wrong there. The alcohol percentage is 4.5% in volume. Now, once again, it doesn't say if it's a sweet or a dry cider on the bottle, so I can't tell you that yet. Now, the price of it was the biggest draw for this one. For, you see, it was 99p. 99p for a pint bottle. Now, that's very good value for money, but is it going to match the taste of it? Well, we're just about to find out. So, there's all the details for you. Now, like I said, this was 99p, and that's for a pint bottle. Now, I thought Crumpton Oaks was cheap for a 90p for a 500ml can, but 99p for a pint? That's pretty damn cheap. And to be honest, the bottle itself does look cheap as well. I think it's just due to the font that they've used to actually show off all the... Um, descriptions and everything for the cider. It, it just looks like they've basically found a picture off of Google and just decided, oh yeah, we'll just use some basic font of Microsoft Word and that'll do. So really, this, this doesn't really draw you to it. The main thing that does draw you to it is the actual price of it, you know, 99p. You're not exactly going to look at this and go, oh yeah, that's going to that's be a good cider. So really, you're only going to buy this for the price. And the back of the bottle, again, like mo most of these cheap ciders they don't really give much description because all it says is churchwood's original cider is cold fermented to give a smoother flavor for maximum enjoyment now the one thing it does say is that it's free from artificial sweeteners and flavorings so as far as i can tell there's nothing fake in this thing apart from sulfites to preserve freshness but that's kind of standard really so um yeah like i said i've got mixed feelings coming coming into this one i really don't know what to expect i'm hoping it's going to taste good i really do but from the offset it really doesn't look like it's going to but as has been shown looks can be deceiving so one thing left to do that is to get this a bottle open so that's exactly what I've just done. Now then, <laughs> let's just give this a bit of a whiff. Well, it doesn't smell particularly nice, to be honest. It's got that very tart smell to it, the one that you get in some cheap ciders that, you know, just smells like a basic cheap one, to be honest. Quite a sharp, vinegary smell again. Yeah, a bit of a tartness to it. But, let's just pour it in the glass to see what it looks like. You know, never know, it might be green or purple. Highly doubt it, though. Well, there we go. Well, there's no there's no head on it, there's no froth. But, uh, you know, the typical typical side of colour from the looks of it. You know, a bit, a bit golden, really. Quite a lot of bubbles as well coming off of it. Now, let's see what it smells like in the glass. Mm. Yeah, it's just it's just got that typical cheap cider smell, really. It just, um, yeah, quite sharp, kind of, kind of pungent, really. A little bit overpowering. But you never know; smells can put you off from the taste. So let's just go and dive right in. Let's just see what it tastes like. Wow, that's <laughs> okay. Wow, that is, that's surprising, okay? 
that that's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The smell just really kind of puts you off it, to be honest. It's um, it's got a very sweet taste to it. I've got to say, it um, it does taste like it does have sugars contained within it. I mean, admittedly, it, does, it says it's free from artificial sweeteners, but it doesn't actually say if it's free from sugar, so you never know. They might have added sugar to it, because it really does have that kind of sugary sweet taste to it. But I'll just get a second opinion. Hmm. Yeah, I've got to say, that totally was not what I was expecting at all. I thought that was just going to be, well, like cr like Crumpton Oaks tasted, basically, like crap. But actually, that's not bad at all. That's re that's really taken me aback, actually. The first thing you notice is that it's very smooth. Like it says, it actually does have a smooth flavour to it. It's got, um, you know, it's a little bit full-bodied. It, um, it does kind of froth up a bit in the mouth, but... Over, overall, it's actually very nice tasting. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't really have that much of an aftertaste to it, I've got to say. And um, to be honest, once like the initial flavour has gone, I mean, you can actually... It has got a nice a nice taste of apples to it. It's got... Um, yeah, that the, the sweetness mixed with the apple flavour actually works really well in this, but unfortunately it doesn't really linger in your mouth too long. It's kind of, it was kind of like um, Bulmers and Magnus in that respect, in that, you know, it does taste nice for a few seconds and then it just suddenly dissipates in your mouth, so you just have to keep on drinking it to actually get the full effect of the flavour from this. But, really, from what I was expecting from this, I'm actually quite surprised. It's not as bad as I originally first thought, so... Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's taken me aback, that really has. Let's get a third try. Yeah, that's not, that's not too bad. I mean, um, yeah, to, so just to basically, like, sum it up, it's, it's sweet, it, do, it does have, like, a smooth character to it. It doesn't stay in your mouth for too long. It does froth up a little bit. I mean, it, it it's definitely not going to win any awards, let's just say that. You know, it's it's not like the, oh my god, it's the best tasting cider ever. But, um, you know, for the for the actual price of it, you know, I mean, 99p for a pint, that's, that's bloody good value, you've got to say. So, um, admittedly, yeah, they might have just shoved in sugars in here because it doesn't give anything away. They don't even say what type of apples they've used or anything like that so for all I know it could just be drinking sugary apple juice in this but um no it actually it's actually all right it's not bad so um I'm actually gonna cut surprisingly enough I'm gonna go and give Churchwood's original cider a six out of ten just above average like I say it's not the best cider in the world I mean I'm not exactly you know crying out over it. I'm not going to run out into the street and say, oh my god, you've got to try this cider now. But, if you're ever in Lidl, because this is the only place that you're actually going to be able to get this cider from, is Lidl. So if you've got one nearby, and you're just in there doing your shopping one time, and you see this, pick it up, you know, just give it a try. You might actually be surprised. But, um, yeah, as for you cider connoisseurs out there who want, like, a really, really nice tasting cider that's just going to absolutely blow your mind, then you might want to look elsewhere. But yeah, overall, very pleasant, very nice, especially for the price. So that was another episode of The Cider Drinker for you guys. And quite a surprising one, really. I hope you liked it, and no doubt I shall be back soon with another delicious and tasty cider for you guys. But until then, I'm actually going to go and enjoy myself some Churchwood's Original. Take care.